Hey sisters, if you can tell by the title of this video, we got a story time coming. We're going to be talking about Tana Mojo, more specifically her signing my boob. It all started last Sunday at a bright and early 10 a.m. If you know me, you know I'm nowhere near up at 10 a.m., let alone ready, downtown, whatever, okay? 10 a.m., I'm usually sleeping. So, to start off with that, I was sleep deprived, I looked like a drenched, diseased rat, and I was starving. So, I get to this venue downtown called Lincoln Hall where the show was gonna be at, Tana Mojo show, cause she's a rapper now. So, I go to the venue, I go, and I wait in line all the way around three corners, three blocks. And I went in line all by myself because my friend was taking a little too long to get to the venue. So I was kind of hyperventilating just a little bit until I met someone and I was like, thank you, Jesus. I have a friend now to wait in line with. And we're waiting in line. My friend finally shows up. Thank you, Jesus. Get into the venue a whole hour late because, you know, we were supposed to get let in at 10, but we didn't get let in till 11, which is when the show was supposed to start. Whip. We're already starting everything late. We get into the venue, I run all the way fucking upstairs because my ass ain't gonna be in the crowd sweating, being all gross and nasty. So, I'm waiting upstairs, there's literally just two moms there, we're just kinda like, alright, what's up? We came here to fuck shit up. And we go there, we sit at the balcony, we got two chairs because we VIP or whatever. Show finally starts, Tana Mojo comes out doing I don't fucking know what. Um, she's singing something. I honestly don't fucking know. I think it was Dada or something. She sang her five songs or whatever the fuck she sang, okay? She sang Dada, Cloud9, Hafner, W, and I think that's it. So anyways, after that, show's over. We're all waiting for the meet and greet. My wristband was green. Green was second to last to go to the meet. So I'm like, fuck, we're gonna be here for a long time. So I'm making time pass, whatever. I'm trying to play on my phone. I'm trying not to pass out and die from dehydration. So I've been standing all day and I haven't eaten anything. So that probably wasn't even a good idea to begin with. So finally, we get into the room where they're doing the meet and greet. It's my turn in line. I had everything ready. I had my jacket put down so I could show off my outfit. I had my sharpie in my back pocket for her to sign my boob. I had everything ready, what I was going to say, what I was going to do, everything. So I go up to her, it's my turn, and I'm like, fuck. Like, I literally froze for a second. I was like, fuck. And I forgot everything. I forgot what I was going to do, what I was going to say. So I go up to her, I hug her, and I'm like, hey, bitch. Because I didn't know what to say. Like, how do I greet her, you know? Because I'm not so, like used to her like close to her you know so i'm like how the fuck do you greet her how do i greet tana mo jumping in my head i'm just like hey bitch and she looks at me like hey and i'm like hey you know so i go i give her a hug and literally without even fucking thinking like i didn't even have time to ask like yo like what pose we gonna do or whatever the camera guy starts going three two and i'm like bitch like slow, slow down like what the fuck are you doing if you know how i feel why would you say that like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation like you we take our picture and i didn't even know like what i was doing what face was i making what i was doing with my hands and my body and all that i look like fucking shit in our picture i had to like face tune the fuck out of that because i look like a literal crackhead in it guys like fucking crackhead okay second he starts like rushing me mr camera guy holding my damn phone i guess that makes you a camera guy or whatever <laughs> Um, interesting. He starts rushing me, like, next. I'm like, hold up. Literally, I told him, like, I'm like, um, give me one second, okay? I tell Tana really quick, I'm like, you know, thank you for really, like, inspiring me to do YouTube because I have my own channel, and I found you on YouTube, and it's just really inspiring for me to see how far you've gotten, and it just is really inspiring to me that you know like you go and you do whatever the fuck you want and you don't care what anybody else thinks and that i really appreciate what she does and that that has helped me gain confidence in my channel and to do what i want and what i love and i said i appreciate her for that and you know all that the rest is history and then right when i left i was like see you at playlist and she's like okay shit all right yeah so you at playlist tana i walk out of the main greet walk out of the venue as soon as i walk out what the fuck do i remember this bitch inside my titty i'm like 
fuck? Like, we walk out of the venue, they're not gonna let us back in. I'm like, god damn it, what am I gonna do now? And I'm like, this girl needs to sign my boob. Like, I'm not leaving until she does. I'm like, that's on my, like, list of things to accomplish today. It's like, number one, Tana Mojo, sign my titty, and then everything else is below it. And it's like, the number one thing that I wanted to get done that day did not get done. And I'm like, I'm getting this shit done today. So we're waiting outside. I wait literally like two hours after her meet and greet is done. And I'm just waiting with some people that I met. We're waiting in the front, and then I start wandering off into the back, okay? I have the attention span of a squirrel, okay? So I'm listening to my music, I'm bopping around, and I start just like walking to the back of the venue without even noticing like what I'm doing, where I'm going. Nobody else is with me. I walk there, I'm looking at my phone, and then I look up for a second to make sure I don't trip, and I see Tana staring right at me. Like, we're just looking at each other, like, for a good five seconds. I see her, and then I finally talk, and I'm like, oh shit, what up? Like, you know? I'm just trying to, like, what the fuck do I say? It was kind of like a thing of, like, shock, you know, because I wasn't expecting to run into her. So then I tell everyone, the like four people that we were with, I'm like, yo, like, come back here, like, she's back here, whatever. So I tell Tana, I'm like, okay, so I was like super rushed back in the meet and I forgot to ask you, can you sign my titty, please? And she's just like, yeah. <laughs> like, the only thing she needed was like uh, a Sharpie because she didn't have one. I was like, girl, I got you. One of my friends, she records it for me. That's the video that is iconic. It's my most iconic thing to have happened this year. It's on my Twitter if you haven't seen it. So Tana Mojo signed my titty, hence the title of this video. Not clickbait because I have the video footage right here. I love you. Right where the heart is. Hey, right where the motherfucker is. Hey. You fucking talk. Yo, yes. I'm out here signing titties, <laughs> So, yeah, that's the my viral i guess you could say tweet tweet of the year you know so after that i told tana you know look out for the video i'm gonna have it posted on my twitter make sure you look out for that shit and like all that you know she was like yeah yeah, yeah. like i got you. i'm like bet and then afterwards we took some selfies and then after she did a photo shoot with some pink trash cans which i did later because you know name a better aesthetic i'll wait and yeah so i was with her for maybe like 10 minutes at the end, you know, it wasn't that long. We just like talked a little bit and whatever, all our friends were there. We talked, we took some pictures, that was it. Oh, and uh, funny thing, uh, you can see me reaching for my Sharpie in that video and Tana never gave it back. So like, um, Tana, if you're watching this, I'm gonna need you to like bring me that at playlist or whatever. Are we gonna have some like law issues? I'm gonna take this shit to the court. Like, you stole my property. Um, story time, Tana Mojo stole property from me. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, guys. So, later in the day, I saw that she retweeted me. And I didn't even know this. My little cousin was playing games on my phone. And then I take my phone back finally. And I'm like, holy shit, I got like 20 plus notifs. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then someone tweeted me, like, oh my god, Tana retweeted. I was like, oh shit. And I go on her profile. I'm like, this bitch did retweet. I was like, she giving me that clout. I was like, thank you, Shastar. And then this bitch didn't even follow me back. So like, Tana, um, where that follow at though? That was overall really like fun day. It was like super like chill, but also like super like exciting and fun and whatever. Just like something to do, you know? Because I never go out because I don't have friends. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. No, I'm kidding, I do. Just shut up. I didn't say that. I didn't expose myself. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And also subscribe if you're not already so you can like see my videos that I post every week. And if you want to check out the actual video that I posted on my Twitter, go all the way down in the description. You'll find all my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat, all that stuff. Go down there, you can look at it yourself. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go cry over my missing Sharpie now, and I'll see you next week. So, peace out.